This is the second year running that the Uganda Law Society is holding this conference to highlight as well as learn from challenges affecting the legal profession. This year's conference was attended by several prominent personalities in the legal and political arena, including former Prime Minister John Patrick Amamambabazi. While opening the conference, the Attorney General William Biaruhanga reminded members of the legal fraternity that they are part of the country's economic development and they must therefore play their part in supporting government policies and programs. I wish to remind us also that economic development is all about the processes and policies by which a nation improves the economic, political and social well-being of its people. Biaruhanga also expressed concern over the increase in transnational crime. Things like cyber crime, uh, drug trafficking, human trafficking, etc. Uh, so the prevention of this is part of the program that government must always deliver to their people. Francis Gimara, the president of the Uganda Law Society, called on lawyers and judicial officers to be courageous in execution of their duties. Courage is more exhilarating than fear. And in the long run, it is easier. We do not have to become heroes overnight, just a step in time. Meeting each thing that comes up, seeing it's not dreadful as it appeared, discovering that we have the strength to stare it down. The executive director of the Uganda Communications Commission, Godfrey Mutabazi, presented the conference participants with a future in which technology rules almost every aspect of life, along with the challenges and opportunities such a future entailed. 10% of reading glasses will be connected to the internet. There are some, I've seen some already. There will be 1 trillion connected sensors on the internet. 10% of the world population will be wearing clothes connected to the internet. All these things I've seen personally, they are coming. In 10 years, it will be a norm. Meanwhile, the guest speaker Peter Lee, the CEO of Wavelength.law, urged the Uganda Law Society to agitate for the establishment of online courts to facilitate quick dispute resolution. And indeed, if you look just outside of the normal uh, court systems, eBay have one of the most impressive dispute resolution systems in the world. Thousands and thousands of people resolve their disputes using eBay's platform every day. The two-day conference ends tomorrow. Ali Mivule.